you do get a really good sense of how insulin sensitive a person is. Um, is there and, like a target for not necessarily all of them, but like, I don't know, a fasting insulin and a fasting glucose that you would deem as like you're pretty fit in general or sure i mean we like to see fasting insulin below six fasting glucose below 90. Okay. um you know we're very liberal in the use of cgm as well so cgm is going to give you a much better look at it because you're going to see postprandial glucose you don't see the insulin but you at least see the glycemic response um so you know knowing that picture and then knowing those sterols you you really have a sense of you know so so for example like i don't uh, if I take, if I see somebody who's on a very, very high saturated fat diet, so we have patients that'll come into our practice and they're on, you know, a ketogenic diet and they're, you know, they're eating 75 grams of saturated fat a day. Mm -hmm. Um, and their rate Bobi is through the roof. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to counsel that person and say, look, um, I don't think this is a good ApoB to have 